What's good? My name is Charity Crop. There's been a phrase floating around the country lately and it got me to thinking. Which part of American history are we referring to? So let's take a trip in the American time machine and find out. It all started in 1607 when we first landed our ship in what would soon become the colony of Virginia. It's kind of funny that we're so hard on illegal immigrants these days considering the fact that the founding fathers of our country were illegal immigrants. And I know what you're thinking. The founding fathers can't be considered illegal immigrants because there was no government in place when the settlers got here. Boss. There are at least 566 federally recognized Native American nations that all existed in America prior to the European settlers and all had their own government, sovereignty, and highly developed societies. But we decided that we'd prefer to call them barbaric savages, so we thereby spent the next 150 years murdering the entire Native American population of the East Coast in order to create the 13 colonies. Oh yeah, and I know I keep using the word we, but I probably shouldn't use that, because if you haven't noticed, I'm black. So at the time, there would have been no we. I would have been considered property, livestock, and animal. Something that was either stolen from Africa or from right here in America and then sold into slavery. And yes, I did say from right here in America. I know you've been taught that black people's first time in America was walking off of a slave ship, but that is also false. There's countless evidence to show the fact that blacks were present in America thousands of years before Europeans, but that's a whole nother video. So fast forward, now it's 1776 and we're officially a country! But no, the entire East Coast wasn't good enough. Our forefathers came up with this psychotic, egomaniacal concept called Manifest Destiny. It basically said that we believe that it is our God-given right to shine from sea to shining sea. So what do you do when you need more space in a new country? Kill more natives, of course! So in 1830, Congress passed the Indian Removal Act. It basically said, hey guys, I know you've been living here for thousands of years, but we need you to move west of the Mississippi River, and if not, we can legally kill you. So... So yeah, we did that, and now we've conquered way more land, but guess what? We need more space! So what's left? Mexico. It's funny how we're having all this talk about keeping our border safe, build a wall, but did you know that this entire Mexican-American border that you're trying to build a wall on was actually Mexico until we stole it? This is how America looked prior to 1845. But then we waged the Mexican-American War and we slaughtered so many Mexicans that they had to give us their land so we would stop murdering them. California, Texas, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, and Wyoming were all Mexico until we murdered so many people that they had to give us all that to make us stop. So yeah, fast forward to 1863 and something great finally did happen. The slaves were set free. Yay, I'm finally human. But nah though, because at the same time the Jim Crow laws of the South started. Those lasted for the next hundred years and basically said that if you were black and a white person didn't like you, then they could beat you, burn you, kill you, hang you, and there would be no consequences at all. So yeah, so much for freedom. And it wasn't even just about race at this time. Life sucked for white women too. They were basically walking, talking, sex toys and cooks. Women couldn't vote, couldn't hold political office, were really only valuable as maids or baby makers, and also could get beaten and raped without getting any justice at all. So yeah, fast forward to the civil rights era of the 1960s, and blacks are now getting hosed down and attacked by dogs. But we continued to march on and finally got some form of civil rights. Quickly after that though, in the 1980s, the war on drugs started, which was basically just a war on poor black people and led to the extremely disproportionate race that black people are incarcerated in comparison to every other race. And we still suffer from racial profiling to this very day. Fast forward to the 1990s and the 2000s and the war on terror started, which was basically just a war on Muslim people. And to this day, Muslims are still racially profiled and humiliated just for believing in God. Finally, fast forward to present day and I don't even need to tell you what's going on right now because you already know. So when we say make America great again, we need to realize that such a statement implies that we should look back to some shining golden era in our country's history. But if we truly believe that such a statement fits our country, then maybe we need to reassess our definition of greatness. Is greatness a time of financial success and military power when we are the richest, most powerful country in the world? Or is greatness a time when every single citizen truly has liberty and justice and the freedom to live their life in peace? Maybe we shouldn't be trying to make America great again, but rather make America greater than it's ever been. I love you. Hey, one more thing. I just officially started my YouTube channel. The Facebook success has been going amazing. 
I've gotten over 25 million views and now I'm trying to move on to bigger and better things. So I really need every single person. If you like our page on Facebook, please follow my YouTube channel, Charity Crop. The link will be in the description. If not, just type in Charity Crop on YouTube and subscribe. I need as many subscribers as possible on YouTube. Please, please, please come to YouTube very soon. I will not be posting on Facebook anymore. I'll be only on YouTube very soon. So I appreciate you so much. I thank you guys so much for helping me to get to this level of success. And please continue to support me. Subscribe to me on YouTube, Charity Crop. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you.